फॉर द टूडे टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग की बॉटल फोसा इट्स बाउंड्रीज कंटेंट एंड सम ऑफ द क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड विथ इट द की बॉटल फोसा इज अ ट्राइंगुलर हॉलो विच इज प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द एल्बो ज्वाइंट इट ऑल्सो कॉरस्पोन्ड्स टू द पॉपुलटल फोसा ऑफ द लोअर लिम लेट्स नो अबाउट द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ द की बॉटल फोसा यू कैन सी हेर इन द डायग्राम a base is formed by the imaginary horizontal line joining the front of the two epicondyles of the humerus so this is the the medial epicondyle of the humerus this is known as lateral epicondyle and you can see here this is known as the imaginary line which is joining the two condyles which is known as the base same how this pointed portion is known as the apex part which is formed by the meeting point of the medial and the lateral border now let's know about the medial border medial border is formed by the lateral margin or lateral border of the pronator teres muscle so this is pronator teres while this is known as the medial margin and this is known as the lateral margin so can you say medially it is formed by lateral margin or the border of pronator teres in the lateral aspect it is formed by the medial border of the brachioradialis muscle now we have the floor floor is formed by the two muscles that is brachialis and the supinator muscles while the roof is formed by the skin superficial fascia median cubital vein medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and the bicipital aponeurosis now let's know about the content content from the medial to lateral side is mbbs or mbbr that is median nerve brachial artery tendon of biceps and superficial branch of the radial nerve so we already know about the contents of the cubital fossa let's know about the median nerve this median nerve will pass through the cubital fossa and it passes through the two head of the pronator teres and runs forward in the forearm same how we have the brachial artery which divides into radial and ulnar artery at the level of neck of the radius third one is known as the bicipital tendons which is attached on the radial tuberosity same how we have the radial nerve which lies between the brachialis and brachioradialis muscles and at the level of lateral epicondyle of the humerus radial nerve divides into superficial branch and the deep branch and which runs towards the the forearm let's know the clinical aspect related with the cubital fossa the first one is known as venous puncture of the cubital vein it is a clinical method to pierce the vein by needle for the either extra or we can say the intravenous injection or for the removal of the blood for the laboratory test the median cubital vein is the the first vein of the choice because it is the most prominent vein in the body and it tends to remain stationary for being connected to the deep veins by a perforator vein then does not usually collapse during the shock and lies more superficially and not accompanied by the nerve hence the skin over it is less sensitive and hence the venous puncture is less painful now deep to the uh, median cubital vein we have the bicipital aponeurosis which acts as a hard platform when the elbow is extended and protects the underlying median nerve and the brachial artery from the injuries you can see here in the diagram the bicipital aponeurosis in the the flexed elbow while the bicipital aponeurosis in the extended elbow so in the extended elbow the bicipital aponeurosis works as a tight broad band like structures and which prevent the damage of the brachial artery and the median nerve now the second clinical aspect is known as the recording of the blood pressure third one is known as the fractured around the elbow joint so there can be supracondylar fracture of the humerus the content of the cubital fossa particularly median nerve and the brachial artery are likely to get injured in the supracondylar fracture of the humerus